Hi, it's Rob from LARPbook. Uh, I'm just going to give you a little account of the events of 2023. So I'm going to give you a personal diary of last year. And I'm saying last year because I'm recording this on the 1st of January 2024. So this is New Year's Day, looking back at 2023. Okay, so we've had a load of ups and downs in, in that year. It all started off pretty normally, actually. We went to Watch Your Game and LAPCON. And LabCon was where we, we we saw our first big change of the year. Uh, Try to focus a little bit on fewer interviews and more uh, looking at kit and getting people to talk. So we hit the idea of doing ten minute kit reviews, which doesn't mean a review that lasts for ten minutes. It means we borrow something for ten minutes off one of the traders at the con. We have a good look at it. And we get our first impressions and um, then we deliver those first impressions to camera so not long-term reviews just oh wow this is cool or uh hang on this doesn't quite feel right that kind of thing so it gives you that immediate what you might think maybe if you picked up some, some of the things we were looking at and it really worked well for us we've made a huge number of videos i cannot thank the people at the con enough for their help they were all the traders were amazing, amazing to us, uh, incredibly helpful. And we took out some valuable reviews. So if you want to get some reviews of lap kit, look for our lap con videos uh, for 2023. There's quite a few of them there. Excuse me. OK, so then we started to move on towards uh, the first lap of the year. So lap con and watch your game. Actually, the order is always watch your game in February, lap con in March were yes, warming up. Uh, for example, back in Watch Your Game, we were testing it, some new microphones as well. But moving on to the actual LARP part of the year now, we had quite a nice start going into the early part of the year with the cons and going into our first event of the year, which was Curious Pastimes, their first event at Packer Scout Camp. Well, I was really happy because I just upgraded my camera. I'd gone up from my small Olympus Microsoft third camera to a really nice full frame Sony, uh, Sony uh, piece of Sony kit and I was getting some really nice results out of it actually my stills were getting really nice results but I hadn't yet learned how to handle video on it yet so unfortunately I shot a lot of video there which didn't work out all the same CP produced a really good event with a very standout moment all of the staff and all of the players at CP are, are, were and are amazing. And also we had James with us, who was on fine form as a presenter. And uh, Pete from Weekend Heroes, who did the bulk of the video shooting for us. In fact, he's done the bulk of our infield video shooting for 23. So I just want to think, let off my cap to Pete and say thank you very much, sir, for your absolutely outstanding uh, video quality. And this is when things started to get a little weird on us. And Stu couldn't make that event. He's had some things going on personally of life, and that's his story. And he has to tell as and when or if he wants to. But he couldn't make it. And he, as a result of coming out of that, he didn't make uh, many real, real events this year. Uh, and also, it was at that event that I had managed to, injure, uh, to take a foot injury. And that dogged me for, for the whole of the year. Um, it sort of... Came, went and came uh, for the whole of 23. So that restricted very much uh, what I could do. So we had this high at the beginning. Then, oh, yes, things are starting out good. Oh, well, hang on, things are getting a bit weird and weird now. Uh, we both, myself and Stuart, both have some problems. However, by the end of that event, we did have a big stack of video to edit. And that was when Stuart had to pass over video editing to me. Uh, most of our video editing in the past has been done by Stuart. Uh, I've sort of always focused on things like the website and social media, and he's always focused on things like video editing. So I took over video editing. And this might be, if you've been watching our videos over 23, you might have noticed there'd been a few stylistic changes. And this, now you know the two reasons behind that. One was that we just chose to shoot videos a little bit differently. And the other one was that we changed editor and also we had a different person do most of the camera work. So add those things together, uh, whew, a little bit of stylistic change, which is good. We don't ever want LARPbook to get boring. Uh, we want it to 
shift and change as time goes on. But now you know, at least know why. Anyway, heading in towards the summer, I was I was kind of getting desperate to do some more LARPing. I managed to get a day out of Ryan's to be a LARP and also to attend uh, one of the uh, Steam Weave events as well. Um, now, I've got to really say that these are both smaller LARPs. After Steam Weave is probably heading, heading towards the more medium size now. Orion Sphere is smaller. In terms of content, they're really different, but both absolutely outstanding. Um, Orion Sphere takes, it hits Space Opera and manages to pull off Space Opera in a lap context absolutely brilliantly. I've, I'm a big fan of science fiction space opera laps. There just aren't enough of them as far as I'm concerned. Um, but they managed to handle things like uh, how do you put people into crews and organize them? How do you manage ships? How do you organize big overarching galactic structures? And how do you get the action on the planet right? I, I think they've got that really well balanced. So love being there and I hope to get back to them in 2024 as well. I'd love to see how this game develops. And Steam Weave is a nice, solid fantasy horror game. It's firmly o over 18 because some of the effects are pretty, uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty harrowing. But it's over and above that. It's the characters and how the characters build up. That, uh, that, is, really that is really superb. So just want to give a shout out to both, both uh, of, of, of those games. And if you were looking for a new LARP in 24, you, you wouldn't... Go uh, and perhaps you want something different from a fair slap, either one of those would not be a bad choice. Now, anyway, talking about fair slaps, I was due to go to Curious Pastimes on one of their summer events. This would have been their third event of the year. Uh, unfortunately, uh, my car had to go in for some bodywork. <laughs> okay, great, okay. You did some bodywork repairs. Um, no problem, though. Uh, I'm given a courtesy car, and the courtesy of the car with a nice big SUV which was this, oh, fantastic, great for LARPing. Except that once I packed my car for LARPing, the car decided not to start. I mean, absolutely dead, wouldn't, wouldn't do a thing. Uh, I got the air here to come out, and with the hope that they would, go, oh yeah, that's your problem, and the car would work again. In this case, they went, oh yeah, there's your problem. Um, there's an issue with the electrics, there the, uh, the braking pump, the ABS braking system had a fault which was draining power like mad and the pump wasn't working right so I had a brakes and electric issues which pretty much meant that car couldn't be moved anywhere. Uh, as a result, I, I, missed, uh, I missed the game. So, uh, a great deal of frustration there. For anybody who's ever had car problems, I mean, I've been LARPing for a long time now and I've never missed an event due to car problems. And anybody who's ever missed an event with car, with car problems, I feel for you now. I know what it, how it feels. It's absolutely horrible to have that car packed and already and now you can't go anywhere. It's so, so annoying. Uh, this might get a little windy video, but I hope not because uh, I just want to give an account of what we, how the year went really. Um, because there were, so, there were quite a few bad points to the year. Uh, but also, I'm going to be coming up with something really good as well. Okay, so this took us from the summer into from the midsummer into August, and in August I was going to be heading to the Curious Pastimes fourth event of the year renewal, but also to the inaugural Goblin Town event, uh, which is where this T-shirt comes from. Uh, so we're getting oh, we're getting out towards Goblin Town. Now, unfortunately, a few days running up to the CP event and Goblin Town was one week later, I suffered a rotor cuff injury in my left shoulder and a really bad one at that. I've been dogged with uh, rotor cuff problems for about four or five years now. Um, and this one put me to the point where not only was I in a huge amount of pain, but I literally couldn't raise or use my left arm at all for about two weeks. So that had me uh, taking painkillers and trotting off to physio and of course if I can't drive and I can't lift anything I can't go in and do lab book stuff so we had, I had to miss both of those events so my apologies to everybody organising them really hoping to be there and to do my usual uh, media things and help out any way I could unfortunately that just wasn't going to be this time so coming towards the end of summer things were 
uh, yeah, feeling pretty bad. Uh, I think perhaps I might do a video on things like missing lap for terrible reasons like sustaining an injury or travel problems. Uh, after having all of them pile into one year, I'm beginning to feel, well, what, what can we do to give people some tips on dealing with this, this huge letdown? So perhaps this year I'll put that on my list of videos and problems to try to address. However, this might sound like everything was terrible, but there's a good bit to come yet. Over the year, we've been updating sort of our YouTube channel to make it, uh, try to make it a bit better. Uh, Dabbock's always been this combination of a website and social media and video, and I decided, decided to focus more and more on the video. Uh, Partially that's down to me because I, I had felt that I'd written a lot of articles and I needed to creatively address how I did things to stop me from burning out. So I pushed on looking at looking at YouTube and I think that's a good, it's worked out well. YouTube's been good to us this year. In fact, so well that one of our videos, one on actually taking a piece of cloth and wearing it at the cloak for doing a true medieval cloak. Uh, uh, we, for that, we had Keith from Collingwood Munger help us out. Uh, he did a superb demonstration, uh, and I know from the comments in that video that people absolutely loved it. Uh, that video went semi-viral, and it's the most successful video we've ever had. And associated with that, our subscriptions went up, went up and boosted us for the point that we are now allowed to monetize that book. You might see an increase in, but well, you will see an increase on advertising in lab book, and we will be looking at other ways to use the monetization schemes uh, within YouTube. So the real good ending at that point was that now that lab book had achieved a certain size, we were now monetizing directly off YouTube, and that felt incredibly good to us. Uh, it's nice to have sort of become sort of have a partnership with somebody like YouTube and say yes, you've now met a load of criteria that are hard to achieve, uh, and now you're going to get something back. If you're wondering what happens to the money, uh, that's all going to be accrued and then used to help us get to to get to lap. So it's going to do things like pay for fuel or pay for food or uh, all the little ed odds and ends that we might need. So. Uh, um, I'll probably put together a membership stream on YouTube in 24 as well, so that if anybody does want to do direct support, that's going to be that's going to be enabled as well. So we started off 23, fantastic, had some good times, a little catalogue of disasters, and then at the end things went really well. I am really pleased with the video I put with 23 because it it is. It does feel a bit fresher than some of the work and it does feel that we're addressing more of people's needs and I've got more videos planned that to address and try to solve problems as well. So that's definitely going to be the direction we're going this year. And at this point, what happening next? Well, we're cycling back to the beginning again. So I'll be seeing people again in Watch Your Game in February. And LabCon is already booked for us. We're already booked in for a hotel and to go to LabCon and we will be there. So I'd like to thank you for your time in listening to this. I uh, hope, hope you find it interesting or maybe a little bit amusing, but hopefully interesting. And please feel free to subscribe or look, look for notifications on, on the channel. I suspect you're going to see a lot more videos coming out of us uh, in the future. So until then, thank you very much. Bye.